All right, another analytic geometry video. This one's on finding the coordinates of the midpoint on a line segment or finding one of the endpoints. Let's have a look at that. Now finding the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment is pretty straightforward, although this formula might suggest otherwise. But all we're looking for here are the x and y values, the coordinates of a point that lies exactly halfway between two others. Now to know that we would have to use the midpoint formula, they might use that word midpoint outright, or they might say a point that's located halfway between two others, or they might try to come up with something tricky, like if you left your house and someone else left their house and you walked towards each other in a straight line at the exact same speed, at what point would you meet? Well, you'd be meeting at the exact halfway point because you left and walked in a straight line at the exact same speed, so you'd be meeting at the exact halfway point. Now using this formula, as with any other formula, you have to know what kind of answer you're looking for before you get started, otherwise you won't know what you're working towards. And here what we're looking for is a set of coordinates, so I'm going to need an answer for x and for y in my solution. So as we're working through this formula, we're going to have to keep x and y completely separate. And the comma is there to remind us that we're looking for a set of coordinates. It's also there to separate x from y and keep them separate. So I'm actually going to have two numbers in my answer. One of them for x and the other one for y. Now first up here, this xm comma ym stands for x at the midpoint and y at the midpoint. That just reminds me what I'm looking for in this question. And I'm going to get those x1, y1, and x2, y2 values from my endpoints. Now I can label the endpoints x1, y1, and x2, y2 in any order, as long as x1 and y1 stay together in the same set of brackets, and x2 and y2 are labeled at the other endpoint in the other set of brackets. Now that I've plugged my numbers in for x1 and x2, y1 and y2, where they're supposed to go, I'm going to start calculating. But be careful here, I'm going to add x1 plus x2, press equals, and then divide by 2, and I'm going to do the same thing over on the y side. And then once I add up those top numbers and divide by 2, I've got a value for x and a value for y, and the midpoint formula is done. So keep the x value and the y value separate, answer is a set of coordinates, and we're all wrapped up here. Now it does get a little bit trickier. If they give us one endpoint and the midpoint, could we find the other endpoint of a line segment, just like we see in the question here? Now we're actually using the exact same formula as we did to find the midpoint, but what we're going to do is write it a little bit differently. We're going to slide that xm and ym that represent x at the midpoint and y at the midpoint, we're going to slide those into the big set of brackets here. And to help us out here, we're actually going to call this one the endpoint formula. And even though it's done the same way, it's written a little bit differently and it's used for a different purpose. So we're going to write it separate from the midpoint formula. Now I'm going to go ahead and label my points. And remember, it doesn't matter which endpoint gets called x1 and y1 and which one gets called x2 and y2. And the xm, ym get labeled at the midpoint. Now that we've labeled this, we're good to go. Now when I write out the endpoint formula, you're going to notice I kind of have two mini formulas in that big set of brackets. I've got one on the left side for x, and then another one on the right side for y. And I'm going to make sure I keep those separate throughout the problem. Remember, my answer is a set of coordinates, one for x and one for y. Now I'm going to fill in all the values that I know that I've labeled in the question. Now notice I have two unknown values here, one on the x side and one on the y side. And that's what I'm trying to solve for in this question, that one unknown x value and that one unknown y value. Now to solve for those unknown values, I have to isolate them, right? That's how we solve for a variable, we isolate it or get it by itself. Now let's start on the x side. I'm going to show you what to do there and then we're going to copy all those steps and repeat them on the y side with those different y values. Now the first thing I'm going to do is multiply by 2 to get rid of that divided by 2 around my variable. Now two things are important to remember here. One, don't forget I'm only multiplying by 2 to get rid of that divided by 2. So as soon as I write it on that side of equals, I can cross it out to cancel it. But because I multiplied by 2 just to cancel it out on that side of equals, I have to go ahead and multiply the other side by 2 as well. And now that I'm done that step, what I'm left with looks a heck of a lot easier here. So all I have to do is subtract that number to get the variable by itself. And remember to do it on both sides. 
Now that I've performed all those operations, what I'm left with is the x value for the endpoint that was missing. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the y side to find the missing y value. Now lastly, if you wanted to, and this was a final exam, you probably should, you could go back and check your work by using the two endpoints to calculate the midpoint. And if you get the same answer for midpoint than what was given in the question, well, you know you did it right. Now watch these couple of examples, one on how to find the midpoint of a line segment, and the other on how to find a missing endpoint.